Often I've wondered how people can not only believe a staged event, even after seeing proof of a hoax, but also attack those who question the official story. I could never understand this until I had this explained to me. It's the championship game of a soccer tournament. Imagine it's 0-0 and it's the last minute of the match and there is a penalty kick. Therefore, this goal will win the game. The ball goes too fast for the goalie to jump after the kick, so he must make a choice beforehand. Jump left, jump right, or stay where he is in the center. Studies have shown that out of 100 times, the goalie jumps left 55 times, jumps to the right 43 times, but only twice will he stay in the center. The shooter knows this, yet studies show that the vast majority of players will not aim in the center, but in the top corners or on the side. Why? Is it intelligence? Is it lack of competition? Of course not. The real answer is pride. If the goalie saves a beautiful bended like Beckham shot to the corner, then at least we all knew that it, what it took to save it. But if the goalie saves put and saves the easy center shot, in the big game's moment of fame, the shooter will never be able to live it down. The weight of the world will seemingly be upon him with shame. Shame is a cunningly powerful emotion. If we let it overcome us, it will override what we know is truth and rational thought. This is why the first thing that comes out of the mouths as sheeple when confronted with staged events or other conspiracies is usually ridicule and other ad hominems and fallacies. They fear that even if the information is correct, they will be shamed just as they shame us today for admitting it. It is for this reason that being part of the truth community is such an honor. I am with a group of people that puts truth and integrity over reputation and shame. You find this nowhere else when it comes to having the courage to seek and tell all that is found, no matter how stunning the information. The world is in a trance, and we are surely on the side of the underdog, but our integrity will not allow us to go back to sleep. We are awake to the crimes that make the people react this way towards us. We know that they are sick and afraid of the shame and that only our truth and love can counteract the psychopath's plan to keep them in a state of fear and shame rather than question the events before us. We are not going to let them get away with it. Here, we value truth more than privacy, security, consensus, or reputation, there is nothing more powerful than our resolve. We are not allowing the New World Order to go without resistance. Each staged event that is committed wakes more of us up to the truth. We will bear the shame, the ridicule, the censorship, the shills, the plant, because the truth is more important than us. We will continue long after there is not one more hoax.